Hi everybody, I'm Jared Pike. This is Shell Point Today for Thursday, September 5th. On today's show, Sheila Sklar tells us how much fun it is to reminisce. We'll also visit two Shell Point establishments that are going strong, the Cafe Promenade and the Shell Point Gift Shop. But first, do you know someone with COPD, emphysema, or other breathing disorders? Are you concerned that utilizing oxygen may affect your independence here at Shell Point? Well, you're not the only one who has dealt with these issues. In fact, we have a support group meeting this afternoon specifically dealing with oxygen concentrators and other paraphernalia. If you or someone you know is dealing with oxygen tanks because of a lung disorder, then don't go it alone. Learn from those who have been there, like Jack Hubbard, who gets around Shell Point just fine, even after using oxygen for the last 10 years. Find out more by attending the Oxygen Support Group, meeting today at 2 p.m. in the Woodlands Oak Room. There's no cost, just come on down. Well, we'd like to extend special New Year greetings to our Jewish listeners. And hey, whether it's a special occasion or just an everyday meal, the Cafe Promenade at the Woodlands is the perfect place to get a home-cooked meal for breakfast and lunch. In fact, there's a group of guys who regularly do just that. I have, over the past couple of months, considered my little cafe a gourmet cafe at Shell Point. I'm open from 8 until 2, five days a week, Monday through Friday, but I now have a much fuller breakfast menu, and I have things at the, prom at the Promenade Cafe that the other restaurants don't offer. Like, for example, my paninis are all made from scratch, and I have a real large variety of paninis that I make, including all the toppings on the insides. I have beautiful salads. I have um, homemade chicken salad, tuna salad, and egg salad. I make everything myself. We offer waffles on our breakfast menu, an egg scrambler with a choice of meats and toast and muffins. I also have what's called the Promenade Quad Salad Plate. It's a scoop of chicken salad, egg salad, or tuna with cottage cheese, a fruit cup, and a home-baked muffin. And homemade soups. Our soups are all made in-house here. Everything is made from scratch, and we're taste-specific to our residents' likes here. We're really, really good at customizing for residents. In fact, a lot of my specials that I run regularly are, are specifically targeted for specific residents because they're a request. And if a resident requests it, we do it. It's that simple. This is really a, a great thing for the Woodlands, and she's a great thing for it. So we're very pleased to have her. Nancy is the best thing that's happened to the promenade since I've been here. She's cheerful, she's got good products, and she delivers. They started meeting here on Tuesdays mornings. It was a small group to begin with. It was only about four or five guys. And the group just got bigger and bigger as the word spread and as more residents moved in from Sanibel. And now these guys are called Nancy's Tuesday Morning Coffee Boys. Nancy's oh, yeah. Coffee Boys. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually have your own organization. Yes. Oh, it's loosely yeah. knit, loosely knit. There's the travel board. <laughs> and I mean, they are hilarious. They come every Tuesday. They solve the world's problems. Our wives are solving the problems of the world. We're That's here why just we're relax. here. Yeah. <laughs> we're here to get a word in this place. Mostly medical problems. <laughs> Four of, the, of, the mar of us are doctors, so oh. we get a lot of free advice here. So you don't have to go to the doctor, you just come here. Right. Absolutely. As, as long as it's band-aids and boo-boos, we're good. <laughs> Doc, the doctor called the ducks it twice on his income tax. <laughs> a group therapy session. So I have all their Medicare numbers and submit them every week. So it's been very valuable and it pays my monthly bill. And it's you very know big. what we just discussed? The pain level is between zero and 10. And we discussed, well, I have a one, he has a nine, but it doesn't matter really, we take the average anyway. <laughs> Everyone takes a turn and about once a quarter, it's your turn to get the bill. They take turns buying each week. They, they've got a, got a regular chart in back, and they all sign up for a particular Tuesday. They just take turns. It makes it a lot easier for me, rather than ringing up 20 coffees. And when, when he's due, we all get eggs and bacon. <laughs> eggs and bacon. <laughs> they're all real fair about it, and they're just a great bunch of guys that just enjoy getting together for some 
camaraderie. They're great. So why just sit down and have something? It's on. Who's it on? Yeah, come on. Each restaurant venue has got different offerings, and you're really missing out if you haven't tried the Promenade Cafe. I have really unique uh, lunch items. I have new breakfast menu. If you've not been in a while, you really need to come down and check me out. And uh, you'll always get a smile, a great lunch or breakfast, and uh, probably some good conversation. I'm pretty friendly. It's just so bright and cheery and welcoming here. Honestly, the, the, the view is just spectacular. So even if you don't want to come down for something to eat, you can come down for a coffee, a cappuccino, and just take in the view. Honestly, I, I really think it's worth a, a try. If, if you've not been down in a while now, you're just a bus ride away if you're on the island or an Eagles Preserve. I'm readily accessible. It's just worthwhile. It's a real nice restaurant, and I think you'd enjoy it. It's, it's super clean. It's, it, there's always someone you'll run into where you can visit, and you'll enjoy it. I promise. Anytime there's a group of Shell Point residents gathered together, this phrase inevitably comes up. Remember the good old days? Well, beyond just nostalgic enjoyment, this type of reminiscing is actually good for you. So says Sheila Sklar of Eagles Preserve, who has a PhD in clinical psychology. She'll be facilitating a weekly session of reminiscing, or life review as it's also called, starting next Friday, September 13th. Let's learn why reminiscing is good for you. Hello everyone, I'm Terry Colath and I'm here today with Sheila Sklar. Dr. Sheila Sklar lives in Eagles Preserve. Thank you for joining me, oh, Sheila. Oh, my pleasure. It is very exciting to introduce a new series in the Academy, Life Review and Reminiscence. Yes. And we want to share a little bit about that today. What would you like to say? Well, I think it's something that everybody in our age group can benefit from. Not only benefit, uh, but also enjoy. Okay. Um, it's a matter of getting together, talking about a particular memory. There will be a theme in every, in every class. Mm -hmm. And so we'll all share in the theme. And then the person can talk just about their experience. Other people might want to say, well, they had the same experience. And it, it just brings a sense of, of, of integrity to one's life because um, what happened in the past is who you are in the present and it just it, and then to share it with other people is such a pleasure because you're not alone and you know other people have had the same experience uh, one of the things that I got in the email um, I'm sure other people receive the same kinds of things in the email are these jokes and one of them I got yesterday which I uh, printed out was did you know anyone or know who, and whoever took a class in school? And it's a bunch of girls learning how to type to become secretaries. Uh -huh. Well, nowadays, five-year-olds know how to type, so they don't have to take a typing class. Right. But this brings back some wonderful oh. memories of youth and how you handled it and what your parents wanted you to do and what you wanted to do. And, the, and now is the outcome of, of all these experiences. Here's a 45 record, which... I don't think my grandchildren have ever seen, you know. Um, and how wonderful because they do bring back memories. Yes. <laughs> and the, the progression of technology, how our lives have changed. Yes. And one of the others, which I especially loved, believe it or not, is this ice cube tray. Yeah. Because I can remember, I was thinking about it, and I can remember trying to pull that lever, but there was too much water in the tray, and the ice cubes wouldn't come out because they were stuck to the lever. And then it made that remind me of a party I once gave. And then that made me think about the parties I give now. So I can see the integration of my, my past and my, my present. And hopefully I'll have more parties and that will be my future as well. So um, I think if I started to talk about my ice cube tray, I'm sure you probably <laughs> it got tweaked something about uh, an ice cube tray. And that's what the class is going to be doing, is um, regaining memories, regaining experiences that you've put aside, but they're still a part of you, but you haven't recalled them in years, maybe years and years. Mm -hmm. And now uh, is an ex a chance, an opportunity to express them, to realize them again. And we, we know, I mean, I've done so much reading about how important it is in our older years to review our lives, to experience this reminiscence. And Dr. Vadalato and I, enjoyed so much talking to you 
because we were hoping you would take on the project of this class with your incredible background as a, a therapist, a doctor of psychology, um, your long, illustrious career, and your uh, love of people. I think people are going to want to talk so much. We're having this for an hour and a half mm -hmm. rather than an hour. And I hope that everyone will have a chance to express themselves. And um, if we have to run longer, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we have to keep it a smaller class. Yes. But we're hoping that you have so much fun that this will only be the first class from well, Dr. Sheila Well, I can't Clark. see anything but fun. And even if someone recalls an unhappy memory, mm -hmm. Just recalling it helps you heal, mm -hmm. so there's nothing negative about it. Everything is all positive. No, and life is a series of losses. We know that yes. the older we get. But being able to talk about these experiences with fellow residents in a, in a nice, small group. Yes. How wonderful. What a gift you're giving us. Oh, it's going to be my pleasure, I know. Thank you so much. We encourage everyone, if you're interested in this Reminiscence Life Review, to sign up for Dr. Sheila Sklar's class. It's running for six weeks, beginning Friday the 13th. Well, folks, the digital TV transition was not without its bumps. Some channels got missed, and Channel 11's audio was out of sync with the picture. And actually, it still may be out of sync now since we taped the show a week ago. Hopefully, it's been fixed. Otherwise, no one's watching this. And I'm just talking to myself more than usual. Anyway, one unfortunate outcome was that some segments of our show never made it to air. And this is one of them. The Shell Point Gift Shop has always been the perfect place for residents to sell their own handcrafted pieces. And for us shoppers, it's also been an excellent source of inexpensive gift ideas. The gift shop is getting ready for a season, but they are actually open year round in their location next to the guest house on the island. In today's volunteer corner, we talk to the leadership of the gift shop to learn about what you can buy there and how you can volunteer there. Hi Shell Point, I'm Melody Desolet here today in the gift shop with a very special president of the gift shop board, Barbara Hilton from Lakewood. And she's here today to introduce us to a friendly face. Go ahead, Barbara. Hello everyone and welcome to our gift shop. I'd like you to meet our new merchandise manager, Bobby Peterson. She came on in April and we're so happy to have her. She. Uh, Many of you will remember Floss Jemison, but uh, she uh, had retired, and so we looked and we found the right person. And this is our merchandise manager, Bobby Peterson. Thank you. And again, welcome to the gift shop. Now being supplied by, I'm proud to say, about 110 suppliers. 110 very talented Shell Point residents, and I'm so proud just to be working with them and representing them. So I'd just like to take you on a little stroll of the shop, if I can. Absolutely. Yeah, go right. Well, first, in this little corner, is our children's department. Handmade dresses, sweaters, crib blankets, just perfect little gifts for all. It's not grandchildren here at Shell Point now, it's great-grandchildren. So coming over here, we feature all our jewelry. And jewelry, of course, is a very big item here at the gift shop. We have many people participating in that. So we have just created a display center for them. And here we focus primarily on people in the woodworking shop, people in ceramics. We're proud to say that one of our very newest suppliers is now doing some of the glasswork stained glass work that we have. So we're very happy to have someone doing that for us. And then I'm sure many of you know that there are some wonderful authors here at Shell Point. And we carry all their books here. And just do look at this beautiful set of birds made by a gentleman in the woodworking shop. I can't tell you how talented our residents are. They do absolutely magnificent work. And the ladies making their scarves, it's just, it's just all so beautiful. Over here we've just tried to focus on a few toys for the children. We have our crayon truck. 
We even had yo-yos for everybody. But this is the, what we've tried to put in this area. And then over here is just a display of pocketbooks, jewelry, knitted shawls, hats, just a combination of everything. And they're all just so beautiful. Then coming over here, our shell people on the shelf here. Kitchen supplies. And then cards, beautiful cards made by our residents. They're over here, all along in this area. And so that basically gives you an overall, overall view of what we have here in the shop and welcome you all to come in from 9.30 to 12.30 until October 1st, which we will then be open all day just to help you. So please come and see us. So it's apparent Bobby is very knowledgeable about what's going on in the gift shop and it seems like you've taken on this position with such a gusto because you've only been in the position how long? A few months? Mm -hmm. And you know your stuff. So. That being said, this Oakmont representative is a very great addition to the gift shop board. Now we're moving on. Barbara, can you tell us a little bit more about greeting cards? This is one of our biggest sellers are the commercial greeting cards that we have. 50 cents each. You don't have to go out to the store. We have all different varieties available for you here and not only does our gift shop have the cards here, but we also have people that are ta uh, taking the cards to King's Crown, the Arbor, and the uh, Springs. And that way everyone is having the ability to choose the cards that they like and send to their favorite friends, family, whatever. Remember, they're 50 cents each. That's including the tax. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so as you can see, there's a lot of well-crafted or enhanced items that are done by our very talented Shell Point residents. So if you are someone that's a crafter or an artist and you have an interest in perhaps selling through this consignment shop, you can do so by contacting Bobby Peterson. And Bobby, what's your telephone number? At 482-3779. And my very efficient secretary will take your message. <laughs> now, in addition to Thank suppliers, you. we're also looking for volunteers to join this very happy family. So if you're ready to join this charismatic team of gift shop volunteers, you can do so by contacting me, Melody, at 454-2290. We hope to see you out and about on the island at the gift shop from 9.30 to 12.30 up until October, and then from 9.30 to 3.30 October through season. Thank you for joining us. Coming up, it's time to cover all of Thursday's happenings from Resort Services. Then stay tuned for your menu choices and Village Church connections. Welcome to the happening segment of Shell Point TV. Today is Thursday, September 5th, and I'm Suzanne Zavada here with Bev Chanley to go over all the activities happening at Shell Point today. We'll start the day off at 7.15 with the Health Connections, Bend, Breathe, and Balance in the Health Club on the island. At 8 o'clock, the Men's Golf Association will meet out at the Shell Point Golf Club. And also at 8 o'clock, we have the Round Robin Men's Doubles Tennis Group meeting out at the tennis courts at the Woodlands. 8.30 is the time for the Paddlers Club to meet at the kayak storage on the island. And at 9.15, Shuffleboard will be playing out behind the Resident Activity Center on the island. 9.30, the current events group will be in the game room at the Woodlands. Also at 9.30, we have the ladies match play tennis group meeting out at the courts at the Woodlands. At 9.45, we have introduction to beginning line dancing at the health club on the island. Then at 10 o'clock, we have a Susie Q trip, Woody's for lunch, and sign up is required. 10.15, we have basic line dancing in the health club on the island. And also at 10.15, we have the poetry group meeting in the Turpin room on the island. Our last morning activity is 11.15, advanced line dancing in the health club on the island. That's all for the morning. Now let's go to Bev for the afternoon. Thank you, Suzanne. At 1.15, we have Mahjong that will be played in the library lounge down at the Resident Activity Center. 
Then we move to 2 o'clock where we have a COPD oxygen group. This is a new group and they'll be meeting in the Oak Room of the Woodlands. At 2.45, we have a Health Connections class, Balance and Mobility Training Level 2. That'll be in the Health Club and is currently full. We move to 4 o'clock where our seamstress will be here for her weekly service and she'll be in the Osprey Room. 4.30 is the time for the Alcoholics Anonymous meeting in the Sable Room of the Woodlands. Two items at 7 o'clock today. We have a pinochle game in the library lounge. And our last activity is 7 o'clock Trailblazers Bible study in the game room of the Woodlands. Good to see you here today, and we'll see you back here tomorrow for the weekend edition of Happenings. Menus for Thursday. In the crystal room, the crystal platter is General Zhao's chicken with jasmine rice and Asian vegetables. The dinner special is the crystal carving board for eleven ninety-five. And the soup of the day is broccoli cheddar bacon. In the Island Cafe for lunch on Thursday, enjoy a turkey cob salad wrap with chips for six ninety five. The dinner special is Thai night for seven ninety five. All menus are available twenty four hours a day at www.shellpoint.net. Hi, I'm Randy Woods, and I'm here today with Lee Emery, and we've been together many times to talk with you about the food drive that supports the South Fort Myers Food Pantry. Lee, thanks for joining with me, and thank you also for all the time and energy that you invest by volunteering not only in our community to assist us and inform us about this program, but you get your hands dirty. You're working there at the food pantry each week. That is true, yes. Well, tell us about uh, what, what's so special about this food drive coming up here in September. Well, it is a little bit different, and um, we'll get back. Uh, we can do the dates several times, but the dates, I believe, are September 11th through the 15th. Yes. And uh, the first of all, the thing that's different this year is I'm not sure if we did a food drive in September or not earlier, but this is actually a Hunger Action Month. So, That's right. Nationally, folks all over the country are concerned about those struggling with hunger. So my plan is to put an action plan together so that we can uh, participate. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I just want to tell uh, you and uh, the people at Shell Point and the uh, Village Church that I attended a hunger summit earlier this year, and uh, their theme was Fighting Hunger, Feeding Hope. So we decided to base this um, food drive um, on that. And we have taken the word hope and we've expanded into helping H, other, O, people, P, eat for the eat. So helping other people eat. Oh, well that's well, well symbolized in that logo, fighting hunger, feeding hope. Now the can looks awful familiar by another brand, but the message is quite significant. It is. And now how can we participate? If people could provide non-perishable food items, especially canned meats, peanut butter and jelly, and hearty soups. Okay. Secondly, uh, donations of money. And we continue to be able to purchase at least, and I want to, I want to focus on the at least thing because uh, I know we have a little sign that says $1 equals $6. But in a lot of cases, the $1 equals a lot more than $6. I've noticed that in some of the reports that there are certain uh, times when delivery of food items is brought to the pantry that the buying power is quite significant. And uh, so what I might spend at the grocery store can't really compare with what you're able to get and the resources that are available to support the food pantry. That is so true, so true, yes. yes. And lastly, if you, if you feel so called and can volunteer some time, um, the Village Church uh, Day is the first Monday of each month. And if you're interested in doing that, I would uh, ask you to please contact the church office for the details on times and uh, what you can do, and there's all kinds of jobs. And if you're interested in doing that, uh, we'd certainly like, certainly like to have you there. I understand that there is a need for many helpers, and you volunteer. There are about eight or ten others from our church and community that give their time. For some it's an hour or two, and others it's all day or all evening to participate, whether it's organizing the food, taking the labels, and getting it on the shelves or actually handing it out and delivering the, to the clients. Lots of opportunities. So contact the church anytime and we can help you with that. Yeah, please ask for my uh, wife, Jan, who is also actively involved in the, uh, the food pantry. It's great for us to be able to be a part of this. And as we were mentioning that, for making contributions, we can make our checks. What would you suggest or the instruction? I see it's in the Shell Point Life. On page 42, we have the article there, Joining Forces to Combat Hunger. 
but remind us about making our checks payable to? The checks can be made, made payable one of two ways, either uh, to the South Fort Myers Food Pantry directly or to the Harry Chapin Food Bank. But if you're going to do the Harry Chapin Food Bank, please on the little memo line on the bottom left-hand corner of your check, please say uh, this money is for the South Fort Myers Food Pantry. So then it will be uh, the funds will be applied appropriately to our account. Great. Well, we look forward to having everyone participate uh, in bringing your food items, again, those canned goods. There are four drop-off locations in our community. You can do it at the service desk at the island or at the service desk in the woodlands, as well as at the health club at Eagles Preserve or certainly any day, bring it here to the Village Church, and we'll collect all those items together and make a big delivery here on the 16th of September. But items are being collected September 11 through 15. So thank you, Lee, and I appreciate so much all that you do to keep us informed, as well as the effort getting your hands dirty and working on our behalf there at the food pantry. Well, thank you for joining us today, and I trust that you will participate and share with us as we reach out to our community to help those in the food pantry ministry. Have a great day. We're glad you joined us for today's show. Tune in tomorrow as we profile another therapy dog in the Larson Pavilion, the golden retriever named Sammy. Until then, this is Shell Point Today for Thursday, September 5th. I'm Jared Pike, and from all of us here at Shell Point TV, we hope you have a great day, and we'll see you again tomorrow.